How deep does your hypocrisy go? I used to watch a handful of, let's call them influencers, you know, social commentators, um, and it was only when I realised that all of the advice <laughs> that they gave, they weren't actually doing any of it themselves. Let's be honest. A lot of the people that you'll watch, that you'll want to get answers from, are full of shit. Okay, now I am not here to you know, personally denigrate people just for the sake of it, but I used to watch Katie Hopkins's content absolutely religiously. I always used to wait for it and long for it, but two things. First, I realised that I was waiting to hear about stuff that I know that's going on anyway, um, but I was waiting to be reminded of all of these terrible, shocking things that we have no power over. And I was waiting to, for her to sort of pepper us with, <laughs> with solutions to all of these things. But, and this is really important, and maybe it seems like a, a critical, you know, really judgmental point to make, but... Often in her videos, Katie Hopkins will talk about, and I'm using her as an example, but there are numerous people and you'll have the people that you watch, but she will say, you know, come over to our side, the side that wants the best for everybody. And if you don't want to come to our side, fuck off. <laughs> Doesn't work. That does not work. Because I've discovered a really powerful tool in my life that has allowed me to actually get on with things that are meaningful and that will actually contribute to a more positive world and more peaceful world where hopefully there's slightly less war than there is at the moment. War starts up here. It does not start outside of you, okay? And the beautiful thing with being an enlightened and positive human being is that you realize this magical fact that you can take full 100% responsibility for your life and then you can start to do meaningful things. But w when you're talking about come to our side, but if you don't want to, fuck off. Well, what isn't included in that philosophy? Well, it's this, some people won't want to. Some people will want to do their own thing and that's always going to be a fact, but the magical trick that I have learnt, and it's not that complicated, it's this, wish people well. Forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. You know, it's a really, really powerful principle to live by, because if, if it's only you in the whole world that is thinking that much better about humanity, well, that is that's a step in the right direction. And it is completely controllable by you. You can take full responsibility for doing that rather than wishing that other people change because that is tyranny, okay? We all have our unique uh, conceptions about the world. We all have our own unique perspectives of the world. But do we actually ever put that into practice and grant the same levity and the same ability to other people. I was on, I'm on, I talk about Twitter a lot. I was on Twitter earlier on today and there was somebody, <laughs> you know, that's got a big following um, who said, I mean, not the biggest following in the world, but significant. And she was saying, <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing, but she was saying, <laughs> this world is a shithole. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and I thought, no, it's not. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not. And my response was, well, then you're looking in the wrong place. We're looking in the wrong places. There's an infinite amount of beauty, and I said, well, there's resplendent beauty and opportunity <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> and well, what are we choosing? to focus on. And for me, the greatest thing to focus on is what I can do, irrespective of 
of what other people are doing. Leave them to their business. Manage your own business. And only then, my friends, will, will you actually be an adult. <laughs>